All right, let's go. It's Saturday Night Loud, baby. Hey, it's the weekend, hey, man. Hey. Charisma, wavy vision. We got family in the building for right sure, now, man. For sure. The baby in the hey. building. Let's get it. What up, big dog? Always a pleasure to be here, man. How y'all feeling? I'm yeah, feeling man. great, man. Yeah, I was I was just reminiscing. Like the first time we met was like yeah. 2017, 18. Uh huh. Definitely early on. Yeah, Definitely. and I remember I'll never forget. Like we were, in, I was interviewing you, and one mm. of your first questions was like, "Name three of my songs." <laughs> right. right. And yeah, I was like, to... "I named like five of them." And she knew the motherfuckers. Yeah. For sure, appreciate the support it and been there. From and me and him been solid ever since. Absolutely, yeah, swear to God, There's no <laughs> cap in that. Mm-hmm. Definitely, like I feel safe when you're around. No, for sure, likewise. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> likewise. You know. uh, we've been at the many clubs together. For sure. All that good stuff. He's solid sure. dude. Like I, I, I'm a, such a fan. And you're back with how the fuck is this a how mixtape? How the fuck is this a mixtape? Oh. I'm trying to figure it out. Why is it a mixtape? Why is that? <laughs> you know, it it's really just going back to like just the roots and just you know just giving just authentic unapologetic music you know what mm-hmm. i'm saying not worrying about none of that other shit besides yeah. just getting the the exact form of art you want to the listeners you know what i'm saying and that's how i approach this project and that's how i put this shit out i really wasn't tripping on none of the extra shit and i didn't like i didn't even want to do press for it until the project was out you get what i'm saying because that ain't what i you know i ain't trying to come tell you hey you should you should be ready for this like i want to put it out let people let it receive it. it let people mm-hmm. sit with it and then come you know have conversations about it, and I'm loving, you know, what I'm receiving. I'm loving it. You know what's crazy? Hip hop is the only genre where a mixtape exists. For sure, for sure. Because <laughs> this sure. is like such a fire body of work. For this sure. is an album, so you know. Absolutely, thousand percent. I was gonna say, is there a different creative process when you're doing a mixtape and an album? Like, obviously, I'm, album seems a little bit more like. But yeah, I mean, I, I, I think the difference in it. Um, I think the difference in it is like you know when. When you call something an album, when you consider something an album, then, you know, that's when, like, all the business, you know, get involved. And the business is put before the art. Yeah. And, and you know, just the the way that, that motherfuckers is used to doing shit, the conventional ways of doing shit, that shit is put before the art. But the art leads everything. You get what I'm saying? The music leads everything. I don't mm-hmm. think it goes in the opposite way. And, you know, when you got somebody who, like, okay, let me just speak for myself. I ain't even going to speak hypothetical. Like, this is the first time I didn't really, like, put my heart in a project in, like, three years. You mm. get what I'm saying? So when I do, you know, allow myself to, to disconnect from the, the fans and the listeners for that amount of time, like, I feel like it's super important for me to, you know, reintroduce myself. And there's no way I can cover all them bases with just leading with a single. Mm. I couldn't push a single. I couldn't seriously push one song off of there and feel like it represented the project in its entirety it would have threw you off you know what i mean it'd have been like ah oh, okay that's cool one of them could have made you feel some type of way but you know when i call it a mixtape and i say fuck that i'm putting 14 songs on it you get what i'm saying i don't want to push no single before it fuck all that you know what i mean like i want to put it out i didn't want to put out anything like even like how i put out can't keep keisha and did it a week before like that that wasn't my call i didn't care to do that you know right. what i'm saying like, i wanted to give them the whole body of work and then we go from there you get what you, i'm saying you've you been in it long enough right that you know at the end of the day, the fans will always pick your head. Absolutely, for no sure. They're going to do that regardless, so it don't them. matter. Yeah, it ain't no point of wasting, you know, money, resources, whatever, Gosh. like trying to force a song on them. And I've always been about that anyway. It's like I always let the fans pick the hit, you know what I mean? But we, we just happen to be on the same accord. Like all the other ones that caught, like I called them, you know what I'm saying? Like I always called them, like, you know, the building the thing is going to be this one. Like on the first project, they like, going baby, going baby. I'm like, no, shoot. <laughs> but I'm like, okay. But I'm yeah, like, cool. Yeah. I'm like, what's the lead off single? What's the lead off yeah. single? What's the lead off single? I'm like, listen, let's just drop it. They like, going baby, going. I said, go ahead, do your thing. So they, you know, they put, you know, whatever into going baby being the lead off one. And I sat right back and then I put that motherfucking uh, male vest on, turned the hat this way, came walking up the street Classic. like it was over. Classic. It was over, you know what I mean? My <laughs> daughter chose that song before hey. I put it out. Oh, she was one at the time in the back seat in the car seat. Yes. <laughs> she was playing. So, nah, it's, it's always dope to, uh, to see the fans gravitate towards the song, especially when it's one of your favorites yeah. out of the project. But with a body of work like this and the way I approach this one, like, you know, I really wasn't even, it's something on there for everybody, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And I covered all bases. So, you know, and that's the way I, I truly enjoy, you know what I mean, putting out my art, you yeah. know what I mean? Is it, you said, you know, disconnecting from your fans a little bit or from the game yeah. a little bit. Is that frustrating for you through your journey, your creative process? Because, you know, you got people hitting you, mm-hmm. drop, drop, do this, do that. Yeah, no, nah, I mean, it really, it really, um, it ended up being a beautiful thing for me on hindsight, you get what I'm saying? Because it, I was just at a place to where I kind of, I, I allowed all the outside factors, you know what I'm saying, uh, put me in a place to where I fell out of love with mm-hmm. With the creative process and putting it out, and that ain't nowhere I want to be. Not some, not somebody as creative as me. You get what I'm saying? So I found myself like 
you know, like in a position where like I'm I'm putting out songs intentionally. Like I can make a hit at any time and break a record. You know what I mean? I can make something go viral a hundred times over and then, you know, reap reap the the benefits of that or whatever. But it's it's always been much deeper than that with me. I've never been somebody that just got one song going. Yeah. Like never. Yeah. never. You know what I mean? Like I go do I go do sixty minute show sets all over the world yeah. right now with music from four years ago. That's I don't gotta do no new songs. You know what I'm saying? Like I I can just go I can just lean on my catalog all together and do 60 minute show sets. It's niggas that can't do that shit. This is the hottest in the game right now. Facts. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, you put ab- the absolutely, way you, you know perform, I mean? you set that bar back mm-hmm. up here because rappers were really no, for sure. coming down with their performance levels mm-hmm. and you just like, you no, took it really. right back up. I appreciate up. that. And it's so much more. Like, it's, it's, it's so much more for me to tap into as a performer. And I'm just super excited to, you know what I'm saying? Get back on for the music, the, the, seep in and for motherfuckers to, to yeah to latch on to the music and then get back on them stages that i deserve to be on and get these right. people Deserves. what they've been missing yeah because i mean i'm you know i've been watching i've been watching <laughs> and, and yeah it's a it's a different type of thing you know what i mean it's only it's only few people that they go out there and, and use that stage as like an outlet like yeah. the way i do like that's one of my favorite things to do with it and you know you got to think like that's something that's been like taken away from you a hundred percent you get what i'm exactly. saying so it's you. like yeah they just for having your own control. personal opinion which is crazy because nah. we all deserve to have our own opinion period for sure. um you not only do it on the stage you do it at the clubs <laughs> yeah exactly i've never seen turn them bitches i have not festivals. seen any artist turn a club <laughs> into what you do yeah. you sure. strategically come in mm-hmm. with like and it's funny because i know a lot of your dancers right, 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 like right. you come in with the right dancers mm-hmm. the right ladies and as soon as it's time to go up you go we crazy go mm-hmm. pals be lit Nah, for sure, for yeah, sure. Be, yeah, yeah, nah, we had a time. And oh, had, my God. Last time I was every in there, yeah, it was, it was crazy. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I'm looking at Kane. I'm like, look, yeah, what y'all love? He's just exactly. like, man. He's like, man, I'm tired of this nigga. <laughs> we, we had girls hanging on, on the wall, <laughs> right. shaking it right I by. I swear to God. Oh, it was such a good time, but you're man. you so genuine down. with it. Like, you, you, you respect the DJs. You show us. Nah, love. absolutely, Even if it's man. something simple, looking to. up, shaking our hands, it's like, yeah. both sides come in. They kind of stand there, stuck up. But you, the moment y'all walk in, even your entourage, bro, it's like, everybody's lit cool. Like, we appreciate that. Nah, it's what y'all do is appreciate it you know what i mean and yeah. it's and you know like y'all the, the thing about y'all like especially supportive djs and ones that you know really tap in with artists and, and show support on their own y'all make sure i'm in the room when i'm not in the room i see it all the time hey. i see it all the time i get tagged in the video you making a movie you running that bitch back they you would think i was in that motherfucker yeah, i'd be sure. all the way across the country like damn i'm supposed to be there you know what i mean so you know it when it when, that goes without saying in terms of like me you know whenever i do get face to face and and got the the even the opportunity to show my appreciation in whatever way, small or big, like it's you know, it's it's fucking it's needed, you know what I mean? It's necessary. Yeah. Real recognized, real absolutely. And, and salute your your DJ DJ kid. That's yeah, our nah, boy. Sure. You've been for with sure. him since day one. He also does production. Mm-hmm. Um that's a platinum producer right there. Right? Let's talk. Did he do anything on this new project? On a new project, now I ain't do nothing with kid on a new one. I um on this new one I, I tap back in with with the producer that I really like found my sound with back in like 2016 mm-hmm. you know what I mean Sean the first he did majority of the production on there and then I got um how many I got with Charlie Heat on there one or two fat is for sure he did fat he's the same producer for shake that right shake something shake mm-hmm. something yeah, yeah. oh mm-hmm. so that makes okay yeah nah for sure so we've been we've been tapped in and then I got um a, the other producer that's on there that's another one from Charlotte a lot of them people they from right there like where I started that majority of the production on there yeah. And then two from Charlie Heat. It's two of them. He did Gotta Know and um, and Fat. I love speaking it. Speaking of yeah. Fat, I, th- I think, I think we were speaking off camera about that one. Yeah. I was at the strip club, bro, and I played that. And it's just That's like, one of them. Between the little dances they do, mm-hmm. it's just going to be trendy. What do you think about the whole TikTok thing nowadays mm-hmm. and your shit going instantly on there? Yeah, when the it, so so when it comes to a record like Fat, like, because I already know, I already know what, what that record got the, you know what yeah. I'm saying, got the ability to do. So, and, and that goes back to me saying, like, how I like refuse to lead off with a single and do it the conventional way because okay if I if I'm choosing okay what song what song is gonna go the quickest you get what I'm saying I would easily just say fat and and just push that you get what I'm saying but it's no one song on a project that can you know I, I got too much to offer as an artist to sum it up in one song so with that being said like I didn't want to lead off with it I could have had fat like broken before I even dropped the project you get what I'm saying and I already have a song like oh, already there already be on all these stages whatever and it just make it you know it just it just make the process just easier that's the way that 
you know, the buildings would prefer for it to be done. But at the same time, with me, like, it was much bigger than that. I'm not looking for instant gratification or none of that shit. Right. So it's a thousand other records that, that can go on there. But in terms of, like, just that sound on that, and that it's just so easy for anybody to gravitate towards, you know what I'm saying? It's a party starter. Mm-hmm. And when it come to, you know, the TikTok's ability to break a record or whatever, like, I appreciate it at the yeah. end of the day. It ain't nothing. <laughs> to, the one time I did that was with Shake Something. And, yeah. and it... Like I wasn't even familiar with TikTok, and I so when I when I look at it, when I study it for a day or two, and they're like, okay, this is how you break a record. I say, okay, cool, yeah. and I do my little skits and shit right. that I be doing or whatever, and that shit went up immediately. Like I immediately got the results of it. If I approached every record like that, like I would be like unstoppable. You get what I'm saying? But I just felt like it was imperative for people to just you know reconnect with the person behind the music yeah. before. I target, you know, certain audiences or whatever and, and use these tools to just blow songs up because I, I just refuse to, you know, allow it to put me in a box. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And that, that's all it is. TikTok's all natural, too. Like they Nah, just be for going sure. Up. That, that's it right there. That's and that'll it. really let you know you tapped in with the, the youth because my exactly. daughter, Exactly. If you she, ain't she, using TikTok, yep. you, 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 you slip. TikTok put me you on slip. so many different things. I just seen a TikTok with you, some, a chef or something. You was eating good. Like you and your, I don't know where you was at. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Big it was on the set of the Risha Roulette, uh, on the set of the Risha Roulette video. Okay, that was. Oh, uh, so that so chef Neb from Atlanta. Just from TikTok. I'm like, who is this chef? Exactly. Page, yeah, they got it. You know what I mean? That's where you need to be, marketing the music. They they the front runners of this shit right now. So you don't got no features on this? None, except for Brit Brat on Ain't Going, track number 13. One of my fans from the Baby Talk uh, hotline that I be having oh, when I let yeah. fans call in yeah. to me. We oh, sampled, so. yeah, one of her phone calls. And my producers, they sampled it and, and turned it into the beat. You know what I mean? They had hard. a voice in the beat. So no samples, just, you know, one of wow. my loving, supporting fans. That's hard. You got yeah. too much to say. Not for sure. <laughs> like, exactly. We got catching up to do. We got catching up to do. I appreciate you. Like, for people just to be able to come off the dome like you do or mm-hmm. on records like you do with the constant wordplay, bars, bars, like, mm-hmm. you know, you are a genius. I appreciate you, for <laughs> sure. So, no features on this thing. One of, one of my favorites is Hollywood Freak. Yes, and Lord. And then, Ain't a Bitch. Ain't that a ain't, bitch. Ain't that for a bitch. Sure. Mm-hmm. Um, you are so good at picking production and tracks, mm-hmm. bro. The beats be crazy. Nah, for sure. Yeah, shout out again to uh, First and, and K.O. Like, we really... We really locked in. A lot of that production is is homegrown. That's from right there where I'm from. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, we made them shits right there at the studio in my crib. You know, really locked in. And like like I say, it's been the first time I didn't put my my heart into like a project in a long time. So yeah. it's like we we really locked in and put together a body of work. You know, if you see the amount of songs that I did I chose, chose not to put Ooh. out right like it's it's crazy and then I did that and then at the end <laughs> still added like five more and yeah. move shit around you get what I'm saying that was hard that was the hardest part of it like figuring out what I was gonna keep and what I wasn't gonna keep for sure and all the music I mean how hands on are you with the, the dope the videos are dope all your yeah. visuals is crazy but how hands on are you with that like as far as with the producers or the production because it'd be a lot of cool shit when it comes to you talking about music videos yeah, you talking about music videos, oh yeah, yeah no from top to bottom Inside yeah. out, top to bottom, that's 100 percent in house. People hiring him nowadays to direct <laughs> for sure. their for videos. Real. That's 100 percent in house. Is that something fun for you to do? Like, to yeah, just... for sure. I enjoy it. I enjoy it for sure. For sure, because it's it's the way I paint my pictures. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, and, you know, and the way that I create is it's me really. You know, like just showing the fans how to receive the music somewhat, and I get to operate in different spaces and create these worlds inside of my crazy ass head. And, you know what I mean? <laughs> and just have fun with it. So I love it. One of one of one song I wanted to ask you about on here is uh number twelve. It's called "Hate a Nice Chick." I hate a nice chick. Really? I do. Talk to me. Nah, I like no nice to me. Hell yeah! But like as far as like you know attention seeking and and googly eyed and then everybody face type shit. That that's what I mean by too nice. Too 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 nice. nice. Yeah, don't be too nice. So not a nice girl. Be good girls out there. He likes good girls. Yeah, absolutely. I like nice. Of course. I don't. You can't be mean to me. That ain't gonna work. (laughs) But you know. Definitely. Yo, you you are so good at catering to women. Absolutely. Like you you embody what Pac said. Make music for the women, and mm-hmm. the men will follow. Absolutely. Yeah. We gonna go where y'all go. You know what I'm saying? Y'all run the world. Like even from your videos, you just know how to make women feel special. I, that's something I thoroughly enjoy doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like just being the the baby boy of a of a single mother. Like for sure. Like that's something I thoroughly enjoy doing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, Halloween's around the corner. Mm-hmm. And trick or treat! I just dipped into y'all a candy bowl. Out oh, there for oh, you dipped in? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite candy of all time? Uh, of all time, that's hard. Um, 
We can go with like Sour Patch Kids. I like Ooh. sour candy. I just you that's what are I just a Sour ate. Patch Kid. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Remember I those commercials that. back in the day? I take that. They would cut your hair off and then <laughs> I ain't cutting nobody's hair off. No, I ain't doing it. No, I, I, I do you remember the like, commercials? I, I do. Yeah, them commercials was crazy. Them was different. <laughs> you are totally a sour patch kid. That's perfect for you. Fair enough. Uh, what are you and the kids gonna dress up this year? What you got? What you got I cooking? Don't know. I don't really be. I I don't be dressing up and shit for Halloween. My kids do. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I, I might do something different this year. You know what? You just gave me an idea. I'm gonna do something. Is there I'm anybody? Get, is I'm gonna it? get somebody. Um, my bad. I'm gonna cut no, you. no, you good? I'm gonna get um. I'm gonna get one of the the special effects makeup people to. Watch, I'm going to pop up on them like, looking like something completely uh, different. Okay, let's go. Yeah, yeah, we might do. What's that show my baby be watching? Uh, I was going to say, do they got like Wednesday, a what's, what's it called? Wednesday, who? Wednesday Adams. Oh, uh, Adams might, Family. I might do something uh, like that and, and show up looking like the daddy from yeah. it or whatever. My baby will love that. I might do something different this year. <laughs> yeah. Definitely, we'll be looking out. Do the kids already know what they want to be? I'm pretty sure my daughter want to be something along the lines of a princess or something Aww. like that, for sure. And yeah. your daughter's so full of joy, but how does it feel yeah. to be a dad, bro? Like, That's the best thing ever. That's what I enjoy more than any of this shit. You man. know what I'm saying? For sure, for sure. It gives you a balance? Yeah, absolutely. I ain't got no kids, so I'm Yeah, like, yeah, no, absolutely, 100%. Okay. That's what that's what keep me grounded. That's yeah. what keep me motivated all the way through. Mm -hmm. You got to love it. And it's a blessing for my kids to, to enjoy what their daddy do. Man, you know what I'm saying? Up. Like that's yeah, that's the biggest blessing ever. You're giving them a life that you didn't have. No, nah, for sure, that's for so sure, weird. for sure. How old is she now? The oldest? Seven. Oh, wow. she's seven now. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. She talking back yet? Talking back? <laughs> now nah, my baby is uh, you know she don't she she's a great child. You know what I'm saying? She been to, talking back though for the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she gonna do that. Not with me. She knows you know something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that just shows how mama go back and forth. That just <laughs> shows really how important it is to have a good father or have a, a father having a good relationship, especially with a daughter. Absolutely. Because Absolutely. a lot of like, unfortunately, I'm a single mother, and like, mm -hmm. it's so different the way she's like be talking back. Cause she not nah, for sure. They, she didn't have that disciplinary right, in her mamas, life. They, yeah, it's different. Uh, a girl and their mama, they gonna they gonna Ooh, go at it for I'm sure. For it. sure, I be sitting there like, that's how y'all do. It. That's what y'all doing. Like, okay. But nah, my baby, she nothing, nothing less of an angel to me. Like, you know what I mean? Oh, that's my favorite right. person in the world. I tell her every time I talk to her. That's yeah, right. Yeah, for sure. Um, out of this whole project, what is your personal favorite? I know that's a hard question, Ooh. but what's your personal favorite on Definitely this? Definitely a hard question. Right now, I'm, I'm right now, right now, because it'll probably change. It's like I'm saying, it's something <laughs> on there for everybody, so it'll probably change. Right now, it's probably carry it on. Carry it, carry it on. That's mm -hmm. the that's the most popular one on there. Mm -hmm. so. It's probably carry it on right now. Yeah, the fans are fucking with it too. I like carry it on. I like I like in a minute. I love the intro. I love what that embodies. Um, yeah, it's, it's between it's between carry it on and, and in a minute right now for me. Mm -hmm. So you are in the works of the album, correct? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, is that coming this year, twenty twenty five? It'll probably it'll probably come either the very end of this year or the very top of next year. Can we okay. expect any features on that one? Yeah, you can. I'm, you know, I'm pretty sure the mixtape will, will probably just open up, you know, the opportunities for that or whatever. Yeah. I'm, but I'm not tripping. Like, yeah, you don't I'm need so it. I'm so not tripping. <laughs> yeah, I'm so not tripping. No, I feel it. Yeah, any any features gonna have to be like on my frequency and you know, yeah. just on what I'm on. You know what I mean? I'm real big on that right now. Yeah. Do you? You don't really have too many female features. Yes, I do. Like you. So like the a females female. was featured on. I was probably. I'm featured on. Yeah, a bunch of female on, songs. You. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, Megan Thee Stallion, Ashanti, but on my records, that's it. Yeah, you're right. You're right. That's it. And when it comes to that, like, it's, you know, I didn't, don't get me wrong, like, I didn't try to work with any female doing that thing. You get what I'm saying? But I bring something a little different, like, so it's, you know. And then they probably got like boyfriends. Like I'm pretty sure. <laughs> no, like you said, female artists hey, with boyfriends. They, they ain't, they ain't trying to get on no song with me. Straight yeah. If you getting weird. Yeah, they. I don't, and I, ain't, I don't blame them. There's there's two features I would love. I wouldn't to see. let my girl be on those songs. <laughs> I was just gonna ask you like, how does that work? Are you Talking pulling that up? Shit like that, right? I would yeah. love to see you and Sexy she, Red do she, some shit together. Nah, for sure. That's somebody I got a female feature with too. Sexy Shake Red, I'm tripping. I forgot. Yeah, I forgot about Shake something. But the remix, um, yeah. Yeah, for sure. But now nah, I, I would love to do some uh, some original shit with her too. Any yeah. female, like I, I'm I'm the one for that. Like you are. You just know what? Come get baby. Yeah, they can keep they can keep going to do that shit with them other niggas. They want to, but like you. Whenever they're ready, whenever you know, whenever the time, when opportunity presents itself, the world will be reminded. Like, yeah, the, the female, I'm the artist, I'm the male artist to collaborate. Yeah, with, let's man. go. The proof is in the pudding. But us being from the West Coast, I would absolutely love to see you and fucking Kendrick Lamar do something man, together. Man, I can't wait. Man. I think that if somebody would. Like got a, if somebody crazy. got a line, let, let them know. I'm completely open to it. I would love to, you know, 
to come be a stellar student and, and you know, and, and show what I could do. Do you like what he did with dropping Not Like Us? <laughs> yeah, yeah. That was dope. <laughs> I mean, I love I love bold shit. You get what I'm saying? Yes. I, I love I love shit like that. You know what I mean? I love moments like that. I love I love seeing that type of shit done. You know what I mean? And it's literally up for like five Grammys. Yeah. It's diamond. Yeah. In less than a year. Like Yeah, that's that's all you heard. Most artists are scared to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, as they should be. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> it come with what it come with. So, you know, you gotta you gotta be you you know you got big shoes to fill when when you when you try to step like that you know what I'm saying so it's dope to see somebody do it and and, and stand on it through and through you know what I mean. Yeah. I know you're a fan of music. Is mm -hmm. there anybody in the West Coast that that you're a fan of that people might not know? Because uh, for us, it's hard to get a lot of our artists past that Vegas line and yeah. get the plays in North Carolina, Atlanta, and all that. Is there anybody that's on your radar? Yeah, on the West Coast, I love Mozzie. Mozzie yeah, hard. Yeah, Mozzie, that's our hard, boy. Man, um. I've been I've been like bro music for a long time, really before like, and I ran into him. I don't even know if you remember. I ran into him. This had to be like on the way up. I don't know if I had pop shit. I don't think I popped shit. Nah, I was still, yeah, I was still trying to get up through there. Um, it's probably like 2018 somewhere. I like Mozzie. I like um, I like uh, I like the way a lot of them niggas, them them uh, them Northern California niggas. I like they I like they style and they approach the music. A lot of them, you know what I'm saying. Um. And then as far as like Southern California, who I um I like I like uh uh O three I like his sound. Hey, oh, okay. no, like, yeah, Shout I fuck with Brett sound, I like him a lot too. But I love the West Coast sound. Yeah. Like that ain't that ain't something like pretty a lot of the shit that I hear from over here, like I fuck with it, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like a lot of it. YG, I've been, you know, I've been tapped in with YG. That's my nigga. Um but I like a lot of the music from over here, though. I'm like, I, I love it. <laughs> you know, it's funny how they do that question sometimes. Like, what what city would this girl be from, or what city yeah. would this guy? Like, you would be from the Bay, like a hundred percent. Like, yeah. I could I could feel that energy. The Bay's got this energy out there. It's so different from Southern California. Nah, for sure. Yeah, you would be from the different. Bay. You go out You'd there, you open. get off the plane, and be like, <laughs> "Boy, this ain't goddamn California." <laughs> It's saying I, I think I got off the plane one time out there. I'm like, where the fuck the palm trees at? I don't know where I was. It's cold. It's, I it's always I was, cold up I'm there. I'm like, man, hell yeah, no. Nah. I think it was graffiti in the inside of the airport. I'm like, what? <laughs> Oakland. You definitely so, went to Oakland I'm Airport. Like, boy, where my gun? <laughs> He's out here ain't playing. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, nah, for sure. So shout out, shout out to the Bay all together. Hey, sure, that's sure. what's then up, they man. Got, then they got the best weed. We all know that. Ooh, tell them. I don't know if they got the best weed. No, they do though. You can't front Humboldt 100%. County. It's 100%. moist. The air, the quality, the weather. It get. That's where the fire weed comes right. from, man. That's where it comes from. The original purple. I know. Purple. I know. That's where, just, that's right. where it comes from. Northern, exactly, Northern California. <laughs> Oh, no. it's, really it's, governed, it's governed down here now. It's too, you no, know, they yeah, didn't. Yeah, yeah, all right. I got better weed in Charlotte than Woo! I be finding in LA now. I be like, damn. Oh, we gotta talk, man. Oh, we won't. We won't. Oh. Like us, real LA, you know, we don't go to no Yeah, no, you gotta get it. That's that what I'm saying. You gotta we get got it from the streets. Homeboy, you gotta yeah. get up the streets. Because the, the dispensaries have watered it down. <laughs> That's how it's gonna go. Anytime yeah. they see too much money being made off something, when they come get involved, they're gonna come water and that ruin shit. it. Put some cut on it. Uh. Uh, man, well, we're gonna. I know you got a lot to do today. We're so honored. I appreciate to y'all have having you here. me. Appreciate y'all um, having me. We're gonna be partying tonight. You got your album album celebration party uh -huh, tonight. Uh -huh, for sure. How the fuck is this a mixtape? How the fuck is this a mixtape? You know what <laughs> I'm saying? <laughs> Listening experience. I, I wouldn't even call it a party. I ain't ready to celebrate yet. You give me give me about. A month and a half, then oh. we can celebrate. We we come back to this conversation. I remember when I told you we, it was gonna be time to celebrate, right? We celebrate like a month and a half. For sure. Uh, for sure, for sure. Right. But nah, definitely looking forward to seeing y'all tonight. All right, man. Yeah. Uh you down to play a little game of trivia with me? Let's me versus it. you for bragging rights? Let's do it. All right, man. Uh -oh. We're gonna do this. Hold on. Okay, okay. So Wavy's gonna ask us some trivia questions. Uh best two out of th three wins for bragging rights, all right? Let's me, do it. Me versus you. Let's do it. All right, all right. so so Wavy, you gonna kick it off? All right. There's a famous R&B group that was discovered in Charlotte, North Carolina. Oh. Casey and JoJo. Yes, sir. <laughs> Jodeci. <laughs> oh, Jodeci is the name of the group. But it, yeah, but but it was Casey and so, JoJo. Yeah, yeah no, that's, I, well, yeah, Jodeci, legendary. That's crazy. Okay, okay, okay. He got me. He got me. All right, let's go. What was the name of the TV show? Look at it, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> What was the name of the TV show of the famous basketball player Grandmama? TV show. Ooh. I don't know. 
Grandmama. He had his own TV show? And not his not his own, but what what was the name of the TV show where the character Grandmama came from? Ooh. I could switch it up. But... Family Matters? Yep. Damn. What, oh! what was it? What, now, what, the bonus question. Okay. What was the name of the basketball player that played Grandmama? Larry Johnson. <laughs> he like, what the fuck? Yeah! <laughs> Is that, am, I, am I wrong grandma? for that being from Charlotte? <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Does that mean I won? Yeah, you definitely that's won. That's right, I won. Nah, hell nah, that's the same oh. question, bro. You can't. Okay, we're going to do one more. Let's do another one. We're going to do one more. That ain't even fair. I ain't steady. Look, he this, was like, this, like, this hey, is the finals. You... All right, my bad, my bad. All right, here we go. Yeah. Okay. There is a Grammy award winning vocalist, R&B, from your town. And his last name rhymes with Lamilton. Oh, <laughs> Look, he, he killed the bitch button. <laughs> uh oh. Go ahead, answer it. You sure. get it. Who is it? That's that's my boy Ant. Oh yeah, yeah. Hamilton. Let's go. Anthony, Anthony Hamilton. Hamilton. Oh that's my God. God. He yes. Yeah, he's from Charlotte, North Charlotte, to be exact. He's still there too. All right, man. I lost. I, I officially lost. I appreciate lost. the chance, the opportunity to, to you know, to redeem myself. Nah, yeah. the, the we call it a draw. Me. We call it a tie. It's you know a tie. Sure. It's a draw, <laughs> baby. Come on. Sure. I love it. Man, thank you so much. We appreciate it. We appreciate, we appreciate yeah, the hell out of you, sure. man. Always a pleasure. The baby, how the fuck is this a mixtape? How the fuck is this doing? Go stream you know that shit up right now. Hey. Stream the fuck out of it. All right, y'all. Yep. Thank you for coming, and you're always welcome. This is your L.A. home right here. Power 106. Hey.